All right, so let's talk a little nerd envy. So I got this email from Tom, and in it he says, I'm a huge fan of the show and have been for a couple years now, but I've been having a problem recently. I'm in my third year studying software engineering, doing pretty average. The thing is, I find myself being so envious of those guys who get amazing grades all the time and whose programming skills are far better than mine. It feels like they can pick up the complex topics really quickly while I'm stuck on the basics. Makes me feel insecure technically and intellectually. I just want to get to the same level as them, but they seem light years ahead of me, and I don't know how to catch up. I wonder if you had any advice. Now, when I read this, I, the thing that immediately comes to mind is that meme. It's a picture of the Emperor from Star Wars, and it says, Good, good, let the hate flow through you. Because... In my opinion, and my general thoughts on it is that's that's how I think about it. So a couple things. First, we all start in different places. So that really isn't what matters. What matters is where we end up. So they may be more technically inclined at this point, and that could be because of how they grew up or when they started. Maybe they started when they were seven year olds, seven years old, like Mark Zuckerberg. Or whatever. There could be tons of reasons why they're able to pick it up right now, maybe a little bit more quickly than you are. But that's not really the part that matters. What I've found is the the reasons why people pick things up faster than other people, it's rarely a you're just dumb thing, which is what a lot of people tend to think that it is. When that happens, Immediately, what you think is, I'm just dumb, or I'll never get this, I'm not cut out for this. It's all these kind of character assessments of yourself, but that's rarely ever what it actually is. It's usually just something based around circumstance, or it's some sort of belief in your head that that you've convinced yourself of. So, cast away those little mental demons, uh, because those are some of the things that those are actually the things that can be what hold you back and cause you to not pick it up a, as quickly is you telling yourself that, you know, you can't do this or you're dumb or whatever. Second thing is, as I've droned on probably a thousand times before about technical skill is only one part of the whole deal. So I want you to like underline, bold, italicize, you just got a yellow highlight if you have to on that because it's it's so important and so critical. And when you feel yourself getting envious because you want to be better, you want to beat these guys in the game. And ultimately, this is all a competition. There's going to be 10 people that apply for a job and only one's going to get hired or you know, 30 people that apply for a particular client and only one's going to get hired. So it is a competition. So if you want to whoop them, in the game, there's a whole lot of other things that matter. You know, maybe they're just douchebags and you're not. Well, you win. That's an advantage for you. Or maybe they're irresponsible turds and you're not. Again, you win. Or maybe they're dingbats that can't string together a coherent sentence and actually talk and communicate with people and you're not. Well, again, you will win. So, there's lots of ways to win at this. Technical skill is only one of them. But finally, the thing that I think is most important goes back to the meme I was talking about. You're envious? Well, good. Be envious. Use that. Let it drive you. Every time one of them gets a better grade than you, let it simmer and seethe in your brain until you go into fits of rage and stay up till four in the morning pouring over some code so that you can beat them and get a better grade on the next assignment. There's something to be said for having that competitive spirit and that drive that makes you work harder than them. You always have the choice to work harder than them. They may be able to pick it up more quickly and more naturally than you, but you always have the choice to work harder. And being competitive and being envious in a healthy way can help drive you to work hard. So you don't want to squelch that competitive spirit. You want to use it. Just don't drive it to make you want to take over the world and slave everybody <laughs> So <laughs> because you get a little carried away. That, I mean, you want to have a healthy approach to it, but don't be afraid of it. Use it to, to motivate you and drive you. There's a ton. I mean, Michael Jordan talks all the time about the reason he worked as hard as he did 
is because he was ultra competitive and he hated losing. And that drove him to be, in my opinion, the greatest basketball player ever. So again, don't be afraid to use that. Now, of course, my little caveat here is if you're a true competitor, then you'll do whatever, whatever it takes that's honest in order to win. And you won't let silly little excuses get in your way. And I think that will lead you or it'll make sense in that context for you to take advantage of the current deal that Udemy is offering, which is a $19 deal where you can get most of their 30,000 courses for just 19 bucks and help you get a leg up on those evil classmates of yours. Now, if you want to take advantage of that, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash April. That will trigger the discount for you, and then you can go through the courses, search for the topics that you want to learn, and you can grab pretty much all of, most of their 30,000 courses for just 19 bucks. And I think uh, someone who's truly competitive will use every advantage that they can in order to win, and that's definitely one of them. All right, let's get into the case for a few.